Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to another Pages and Pages. Mm. Coffee. Today I'm going to show you some graphic novels and comic books that I've read lately and that I enjoyed. I am not an expert in this at all, but I enjoy it. So, just putting that out there, disclaimer. The first one that I read was Delilah Dirk and the Turkish Lieutenant. This had gorgeous art. I mean, look at her. She's just so epic. And he makes really good tea, and together they go on swashbuckling adventures and are generally the best. This is a really character-based book, so it's about Delilah, and it's about the Turkish Lieutenant, and it's about their friendship that forms through all of these crazy random adventures. Um, and just a, you get a lot of characterization for both of them. So for the Lieutenant, you get things like he really likes tea and quiet conversation and that sort of thing. But for her, she's like this totally badass, adventuring person. And this is a quote that I wanted to share that just like gets at how well they characterize people. And then she looked at me, and it seemed as if all the fury in the world would leap from her eyes and strangle me where I stood. So just, she has such an intensity of character, you can't help get, but get swept up in this story. And the art is beautiful. I know I've said that like 15 times, but it's true. So that is Delilah Dirk and the Turkish Lieutenant. Mostly I just want all of her dresses and her hair. Let's do another one. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. I just finished this this morning. It was awesome. She is so adorable and amazing, and she just like is unbeatable. Squirrel Girl. Go read her comic. She like has a conversation about pronouns. Her college roommate might be one of the best characters in this too. She just likes knitting and her cat, and that's all. So, very relatable. Except for the whole like beating all the bad guys thing. But she does. She beats all of them in unexpected ways. So give this a read. Also she has this kind of obsession with Iron Man. This comic book made me laugh out loud so many times. I have to show you this one thing. Okay. So she goes, she needs to go to space to um, defeat <laughs> right? Who's coming in is like a space giant, which hooray for space giant villains. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, but she wants to take her her uh, sidekick squirrel with her, Tippy Toe. And so they go break into Strike Tower, they like steal some Iron Man suits, and they the suits modify themselves to fit the wearers, right? And so you get you get this kind of Iron Man suit with its tail for Squirrel Girl, and then Tippy Toe just gets like an Iron Man helmet and a hand. And that just like cracked me up for some reason. I could not stop laughing about it. There are so many good jokes in this. And so this is a compilation of um, like the first four issues and like one of the original issues. So that was just a lot of fun. I just really enjoyed this. It made me laugh. And the last one I wanted to talk about is Coco Be Good. It is a graphic novel. And this one has the most beautiful art I've ever seen. Like, there's pieces in it that I want to frame and put on my wall. This one is perfect for reading, like, on a rainy day in a cafe when you feel like nobody really gets you. This book follows the story of a girl named Coco who is kind of a wild card until she runs into another guy who's apparently moving to, like, Peru or something. And he's never been there before and he's just like uprooting his life and going. And so it sparks like this conversation between them about what you think you have to do versus what other people think you have to do versus what you should actually do and what in that makes you a good person. Like what do you actually have to do to be good, you know? And it it has some good questions there. Like what does it mean to be a good person? Does it mean doing what other people think is a good person should do? Or does it mean doing what you think is good for you to do? Um, so it's kind of very thought-provoking in that way. And as I said, like, the art is beautiful. 
Look at that. So I would really recommend reading this even if you're not into comics or graphic novels at all because it is a beautiful one to read and asks good questions. Coco Be Good by Jen Wayne. So that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to show you some graphic novels and tell you why I liked them. If you've read any of those, I would love to hear your thoughts about them. And if you are interested in the Marvel Universe at all, I would say you should read Squirrel Girl. That's all. Have a great day. Talk to you next time. Bye.